There are four basic ways to win a point in tennis. Number one, if your opponent hits the ball into the net. Number two, if your opponent hits the ball outside of the boundary lines. Number three, if the ball bounces two times before your opponent can return it. Number four, if your opponent touches the ball with the racket two times while attempting one shot. And the fifth way has to deal with the serve. The person serving has a handful of responsibilities that we need to discuss before moving any further. First, the person serving must start the game on the right side of the court and serve into a designated area on the other side of the court. Second, the server has two chances to successfully hit a tennis ball into the designated area. This designated area is commonly referred to as the service box. Third, before the server attempts to hit a serve in the service box, they must first call the score out loud so that both players can hear and agree. Fourth, the server must say his or her score first before saying the opponent's score. Fifth, the server must stand behind the baseline and is not allowed to touch or cross that line until after they have made contact with the ball. If the server misses the first serve, it is known as a fault. Then they get a second chance to make it in the service box. If they miss that serve, it's called a double fault and the other player will automatically win the point. Once the server makes the ball within the service box, the point has officially started. At this point, the larger highlighted area will be used until one of the players is unable to return the ball within the boundary zone. If at any point the ball hits one of the boundary lines, it is always considered in. If either player hits the ball on the net, hits the ball outside the lines, the ball bounces twice, or a player touches the ball twice to get it over, then the other player wins one point. So now that you know the basics of how to win points, let's learn how to keep score. For starters, it's important to note that the game of tennis makes no mathematical sense. We know it's weird, but it's best practice to just memorize the score for what it is. And don't overthink it. Just repeat after me. Love, 15, 30, 40, game. And again, love, 15, 30, 40, game. One more time. Love, 15, 30, 40, game. This is pretty much the same as saying 0, 1, 2, 3, game. But because of tennis tradition, we instead say love, 15, 30, 40, game.